the Bible to the cross from the cross. Every Bible story has three components. First, God's love. Second, God's compassion. Third, God's miracle. Opening your Bible opens miracles. The Bible as one story is holy enough in our lives. Day 286 Matthew 17 to 20 The three conditions to become a big person in heaven. Jesus taught the disciples who quarreled about who was greater, that the principle of the kingdom of heaven was that the humble person was the greatest. First point, the conversation Jesus had with Moses who represents the laws and Elijah who represents prophets symbolized that Jesus indeed came to fulfill the laws and the prophets. Six days after Peter's spiritual confession, Jesus took Peter, James, and John to the mountains. Right on, we see that Peter became the representative disciple. James became the first martyr for Christianity, and John lived until the end to write Revelation in the island of Patmos. During his three-year public life, Jesus distinguished these three and they showed them more of Jesus' ministry. First, Jesus showed them the miracle of raising the girl from the dead. Here, the three were able to have a hope for resurrection. Second, they were shown Jesus transfigured before them. Here, they were able to see Jesus' glory. Third, Jesus took the three when he went up to pray in Gethsemane. Here, they saw how Jesus obeyed God's will and how he chose the path of suffering in order to save the people of the world. When Jesus was transfigured, he spoke to Moses and Elijah. In the Old Testament, Moses symbolizes the laws and Elijah symbolizes the prophets. Jesus shared a conversation with the two, which moreover symbolized how he indeed came to fulfill the laws and the prophets. During this conversation, Peter offered to put up a shelter, and here he heard a voice from heaven. Peter, James, and John were so afraid that they knelt down. As God had told the people to listen to Moses, God now told the three disciples to listen to Jesus. John later recorded more images of Jesus' transfiguration in Revelation. It was here that Jesus taught the three that the Elijah God referred to in the book of Malachi was John the Baptist. Second point, in heaven, the humble person and children were greatest. Some time later, the disciples asked who was the greatest in heaven. Despite how Jesus had told them of his suffering twice, they still wanted to know who the greatest person in heaven was. We can learn that they still had the political image of the Messiah in their heads. At this, Jesus pointed to a young child to answer their question. Jesus claimed that not a single person was to be lost, and this was said by using the parable of the lost sheep. Next, Jesus taught them how to react when their brothers sinned against them. The first was to meet face to face, and this was an updated teaching from Leviticus. The second was to take one or two others along, so that every matter may be established by the testimony of witnesses. This was the revised teaching from Deuteronomy. The third was for the church to become their witness. If the person did not repent even after these three stages, they were to be excluded from the community. Jesus continued to teach his disciples about forgiveness. Jesus told them to forgive their neighbors without limit. As those listening were forgiven without limit, they were also to forgive others without limit. Third point, B 
Before heading to Jerusalem, Jesus ministered in the area of Judea and Berea. Matthew chapters 19 and 20 records Jesus' ministry in Judea and Berea before entering Jerusalem. However, the moment Jesus entered Judea, some Pharisees started to spot debate. They had the intention to put Jesus into trouble. At the time, there were various opinions and interpretations about divorce, and so they asked Jesus about this matter in order to attack him. Jesus answered them by referring to creation. Despite Jesus' clear answer, they asked him the same question again. Why then, they asked, did Moses command that a man give his wife a certificate of divorce and send her away? As experts in the laws, they felt confident in attacking Jesus with reference to Deuteronomy, but of course they were no match against Jesus. Jesus told them to look deep for God's intentions rather than what they understood as the law. Fourth point, the wealthy young man was unable to go as far as to give all his possession to the poor to enter heaven. One day, a wealthy young man came to Jesus and asked how he could gain eternal life. Jesus told him to keep the laws of Moses. The young man replied that he had done all this, and so Jesus gave him another answer. The first was to give up his possessions, and the second was for him to become Jesus' disciple. The young man, however, could not let go of his possessions, and thus he was unable to become Jesus' disciple. This young man wandered away and is still yet to return. He was unable to give up his possession as he failed to see that the real precious jewel was to be found in heaven. Afterwards, Peter asked Jesus what they would receive, as they had all left their possessions and were serving Jesus. There was a part of him that had doubts about eternal salvation. Jesus therefore told them that they would become the apostles of Jesus. Fifth point, Jesus predicted of the ridicule he would receive from the high priests and the teachers of the law before taking up the cross. Before entering Jerusalem, Jesus predicted his suffering for the third time. Despite such a prediction, Jesus' disciples were arguing about who would get the best seat in heaven. To James and John's mother, Jesus explained the policies of the kingdom of God. Although this mother had a ridiculous request, the other disciples were really no better. The others expressed the fury to the two brothers. Jesus, however, went steadily in the way directed by God. Jesus then healed two blind people. The blind people cried out to Jesus to have pity on them. The way into heaven lies here, only through God's pity on us, we are able to enter heaven. I am thrilled that you have downloaded the Tondoc app. The Tondoc app is not like any other app in the world today as well as in the body of Christ today. Dr. Biyongo Zhou has devoted his entire life to teaching men and women like yourself to understand the entirety of the Word of God as a masterful and beautiful story from Genesis to Revelation. Dr. Zoe is a sought after speaker worldwide. He's a cutting edge pastor and leader. He is a renowned theologian and a prolific writer. And you're going to be equipped and energized like never before to understand and apply the Word of God into your life. Again, thank you for downloading the Tondoc app.